We live in a world that's go, 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 and it's so easy to get caught up in that and forget what you're all about. Here, today, we've managed to get to this point. Look, you've spent a lot of time full speed ahead to get to this place. You've had to set the date, get the invitations, the dress, the tuxedo, the cakes, the napkins, the bridesmaids, the groomsmaids, out to the airport rehearsal, the prelude, march on, say your vows, you're out of here, but not yet. What if we stopped? What if you all just took a breath, breathe? Take a look at each other. Just, you've got the place. Just use the time. <laughs> Take a notice. Look at each other. Breathe in each other for a bit. Stopping. Resting. Slowing the mind and the heart to focus. Pray. And you will be filled with an amazing spirit that will deepen your marriage and give you strength love each other in joy and in sorrow and sickness and health and plenty and want throughout all your days that's it marriage is about being wonderfully and radically different from each other in gifting and purpose and calling and then being unified in those differences through the real love for each other given by God you two have been given unique gifts divine enablements that the grace of God gave you for the benefit of others, including each other. And by God's grace, these gifts differ between the two of you. Every spouse has more inherently huge differences from their mate than they want to see or really admit. Each difference can be wonderful but scary, enjoyable yet very frustrating, depending on the circumstances and the mood. Know the differences, appreciate them, respect them, and accept them. Rejecting what was wrong and passionately pursuing what was right is always compatible with true love. It is how it works and always will work. May you always keep in mind and hear how your different giftings make you better together than you would have ever been had you stayed single. I, Thomas, take you, Ashley. I, Thomas, take you, Ashley. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise before God and these witnesses I promise before God and these witnesses. Be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And I, Ashley, take you, Thomas. I, Ashley, take you, Thomas. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. Your life. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Throughout all our days. Throughout all our days. For as much as Thomas and Ashley have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company of witnesses and have pledged their vows each to the other and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring by the authority vested in me by the church, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Ashley Conway.
got to the topic of this new girl, Ashley, that he was dating. And I just remember that he lit up like I've never seen him before. And I really knew at that time that this could definitely be something serious. couldn't be happier or prouder uh, and could not imagine a better man that Ashley could marry. And so we are very proud to welcome you into our family. gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's everywhere. It's okay. <laughs>